Yeah. Degenerates. Y'all know what it is. Guess who's back? Motherfucking house, man. What it yes. is? Yes. Yes. I hope your bathroom is clean. Oh, that motherfucker clean. And I hope you being safe with coronavirus right now, cause you know. Yeah. Yeah. Coronavirus. All right. Be. Beat off. What's good with y'all niggas, man? What's good, bro? We back. Doing our thing. Y'all see we uh, got to do an outside potty. Yes. We are okay. by the pool right now. It's a good environment. It's a good vibe. We're feeling it. Yeah. Nice pool. Pool potty. <laughs> pool pod. So, D, how you feeling, bro? I'm good. How you feeling? Okay. Uh, tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm doing that project. Yeah. So, which we're going to talk about in a bit, but yeah. Anything going on? Like anything you want to follow up with? Uh, I'm not really trying to wait for this damn virus to get over with so we can get back popping out here. Slow. I never knew how much that. I think the reason that they opened this back up too is because uh, Florida's tourist ecosystem is what keeps us thriving. So we got to have, you know, fuck that plane, y'all. Hold on a second, y'all. Are you ready? Yeah, so you gotta get um get to get over this damn thing, yeah. So they gotta open this back up so Florida can start rotating again because we mainly our main thing is attractions and if we don't got the attractions then Yeah, I heard Universal you know, is not doing it. No, they ain't doing we ain't open until uh thirty first uh May. Really? They said they're not yeah. They said they're not open it back up because uh themes parks are not super essential, but they might open up our restaurants in City Walk, but City Walk said that they're not opening up because that's universal. So City Walk said they ain't opening up until the 31st. That's the earliest we will open up uh, next month because they want to make sure that all them people coming back in, some of the people who haven't went and got checked out and don't really want to tell people that they got that virus because they're scared or they're just stupid and don't want to tell nobody because they just stupid. They got to keep it going. No, yeah. they're just, they, gotta, so, uh, they got jobs. They're gonna wait until they bury they basically gonna wait until that's done and then we're gonna come in I think a week before mm -hmm. and we're gonna sanitize. We're gonna super sanitize everything and a whole lot of bleach. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot, it's gonna be a whole lot of everything. So we basically gonna wait a week, wait a, like a week and a half, go in there, clean up, and then we're gonna reopen. But uh for some of the people that at my job, some of their jobs is probably gonna get cut um drastically because they sent us that little furlough letter and it was like well some some of y'all are straight but some of y'all might have to adjust what y'all doing because uh the scene is different now the temperature is different out here so I th i'm thinking that's probably uh the servers because you know servers do a lot of contact oh, yeah. to contact so you might have to lower you know lower the, the count of servers um they might. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a whole new set of uh, rules. A and new guidelines. system. Uh -huh. A new system of hospitality now. Yeah, and they said um, it, it ain't gonna be this like what how it was. It ain't gonna be like how it was. It's gonna be a little different because just because of this disease and how how it been rotated. So Your it's a virus. Has been yeah. Terminated. Uh, well, I mean, the only reason I call that thing a disease because it's it's sort of like AIDS. AIDS is a, is a disease, but it's also a virus. No, we we we, we straight. If the microphone picks up, I could be all the way over there. <laughs> I can hear you. Yeah, it is sound like if you get too close, it sound like you actually too close to the microphone. So that's your perspective, though. Mm -hmm. You're still corporate. Yeah. But currently shut down. Yeah, we yeah we close like we ain't even shut down. We basically on hiatus until they say yeah we open up and then our people is gonna put us back in rotation and tell us uh what we need to do, where we need to go, how we need to get there. But I'm pretty sure most of us cooks are straight because. We are a big part of um, the restaurant, so a lot of a lot of us cooks are straight. I'm thinking it's it's like the bussers and some of the, the waitresses and some of the waiters. I all of them. I'm thinking. I'm thinking a lot of them is gonna get cut. Like like hospitality. Yeah, Orlando's gonna get hurt basically. Yeah, but they're gonna they trying to they, adjust. Yeah, they're trying to um, avoid that right now by reopening us up. So you got to see what happened. It's crazy, bro. Let me tell you something. The economy right now, here's what gets me. All right. Currently, I'm doing this project right now. You know mm -hmm. that. Just like journaling and this discovery stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, for all my degenerates, 
what's going on right now is currently the hospitality industry is out so things ain't looking really good to for us so much so i decided to do this weird project where i just started venturing out and seeing what's going on so i went to miami from orlando i went to miami and then st pete like tampa yeah bro it's tough everywhere yeah it is it is tough yeah, i understand my, that my cousin miami he's they work in um they work in the hospital industry so both of them is both of them is straight like both of their jobs are secure because you need you need the hospitals so but and uh but his girl my cousin girl said that um their business is straight but it's it's not the good kind of straight like it's it's okay but you know some people are working long long hours and some people are barely getting anything i'm thinking like the cleaning people the cleaning people in the hospitals is probably getting paid a lot right now because they got to clean up all that excess from the Before? people that yeah the people that already came so i'm thinking they got they probably got a good little but they, they actually are trying to champion for people to get for those workers and shit to get extra compensation because man you could you got to deal with people with these this virus and you got to deal with people that's sick besides the virus or with a combination of both so you got to deal with that and that is not uh it's not too easy of a thing to do you know what i mean had to come in and knowing that today might be your last day but you got to go into work and help other people so it ain't their last day but this shit is in a, in a nutshell at this virus basically all right this virus basically it's gonna have people basically paying attention to the little things now because it's the little things that they didn't pay attention to that got us in this big predicament so and then you got yeah you got the president i mean really we going there yeah he no no i'm just saying you got him telling people to take disinfectant and all of that and you actually have people out there doing it like uh a dude died i just yeah, i seen an article earlier today that a, a dude that died because he ingested um like bleach or something else he ingested like some a type cleaning of substance yeah and he ended up dying from it because people are actually yeah. donald trump may have said he was playing about that but no you can tell by that man's face and the way he said it the people are right people around him are i guess they through trying to give him guidance because it don't work bro you ever but, seen him when he does his little presses like his little press conferences yeah, i don't know there's only like two or three people behind him they used to be like 12 like uh, it's because Donald Trump, he won't he don't care about what's going on. He want attention. He want attention and he want validation. He basically the, the kind he like Kanye, man. They both the same way. They just want people to know that they exist and they want people to listen to him with no question like they got or something. So Oh well, shout out to Kanye, I hate to say this, but he just became a first another black billionaire. Yeah, he ain't a billionaire. He valued at a billion dollars. That's really yeah, that means his shoe company and his little music all together pressed all together is basically makes him a billionaire jay-z is an actual billionaire he he's oh. not valued at a billion he has a billion kanye made jesus walks yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, I'm not that religious so that jesus walks on to me was just people uh capitalizing off religion that's all it was because that's basically what kanye was did. oh yo okay speaking of that now i hollered at dion d witty and I asked him about this idea, this crazy ass idea about checking out the system because we're not working. We're not doing anything. I mean, I'm just chilling really myself and everybody knows I love to write. I love taking pictures. I love journaling. I love doing this, you know? So I decided, let me see what's going on with the system. Like for the homeless, I just sh like shelters and shit. Yeah. So I started checking them out. I like, I asked Dion, I was like, yo, I want to do a little mini doc. I want to film. I want to do things. I want to record audio and I want you to put it together. What'd you say? Yeah, I do it. Ain't but you did call me crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't personally <laughs> do it myself. But hey, if, you, if that's what you, I am. Uh, I'm Bro, not you. So you ever seen? <laughs> you ever seen like the people like when war happens? They're right there in the desert with the helmet on and on the microphone. Like I'm here in the middle of everything. Yeah. Or uh, like you always see like the black dude in a hurricane with the poncho on. Yeah, I was <laughs> say, wow. That. I always thought they were super wild for that. I'm like, I'm, I wouldn't do no shit like that, especially not. That's because I, I don't know. I don't trust, I don't trust nature because nature doesn't have a conscience. So true. 
Nature don't give two dams about what you, where you at, what you doing, and how you feeling. They just going, hey, we supposed to be raining, so we going to rain. If you're allergic rain. to rain, we not finna. Yeah, nigga, unless you can create a force field around you, done deal. So, you know. <laughs> or just get an umbrella. That, yeah, but sometimes. <laughs> umbrellas, umbrellas work, but you still get wet with umbrellas. Unless you got a full body poncho on with an umbrella <laughs> that, span, that stretches out farther than just the radius of your head. Then no, because you know what them uh, degenerate jet know. advice. Make sure you got a big ass umbrella, yeah, and a poncho, in a rainstorm. Okay, like just be prepared if you don't want to get wet. It's like you, you can't expect to walk outside and in a rainstorm and not get wet just because you got an umbrella. You forget it, the water on the ground. Also, the the direction of the wind changed, so it could be coming down all of a sudden, blow right to the side. So now you got rain. Smacking you in the sides, so you gotta adjust. You gotta adjust your, your umbrella. If you got a poncho on, you ain't gotta worry about the side, the side rain, because you boop boop boop, take that out. <laughs> but boop, boop, boop. if you if you because most people only think one dimensional anyway. So they thinking, okay, the rain just gonna come from above. People that think outside the box, like, nah, this rain can come from underneath, because it could bounce up. Um some could come from the right, some can come from the left. Hey, you could even get groovy on this and Start hitting us from the back. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing implied, but it could, it could start raining down on us from the back. So that's what it, that's what I was trying to say. A lot of people don't they don't think two dimensional or three dimensional. They just think one dimensional. Like this is this, this is settled. That's what it's gonna be. Nothing else to talk about. See, and that's this is the General Gents podcast. You see, we be talking about prepping, getting ready, making sure things are right. Mm. So on that okay, this is why I brought up the. Uh, the mini doc. So this is my next spot was a, a rescue mission. Like a religious based res you know what I'm saying? Where you stay. Yeah. The thing that's funny is that, like I told you, it's I'll be quick with it because we, we're not gonna give out too much. We're just gonna do the doc at the end of it and just have fun with it. Uh shit is like prison, bro. They lock you in, you're a number. I can't even lie. You gotta check in at 2 p.m. You can't leave once they lock you in. You're a number. You take showers with a bunch of dudes. Ain't no private showers. You know what I'm saying? One big ass TV. Nobody got their privacy. You turn in your phones at 7 p.m. And they kick you out at 5.30. Yeah. But, yeah unlike, Opinions? Like, I'm telling you, what do you think? Unlike jail, you you got to get up and you got to stay where you at. But, yeah, I don't. Um, Seven hours of freedom. That's what you get. A day. Uh, and I'm, I'm like, I've been writing it down and everything. That's what gets me so wild about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then also, actually, today, at the breakfast hall, which was kind of cool. Like, I was writing shit down, just minding my business. And I decided to record. The guy working there told me, hey, put that phone down. Yeah, it's because you're not allowed to. They don't and want that's to crazy. In it. Yeah, they don't want to. You don't, you're not supposed to expose the inner dealings of places like that. Because, um, for one, they, they'll tell you that it, um... It basically endangers some of the people because you might have you might have somebody that's coming after somebody and if you basically got the uh if you basically got freaking like let's say you get you give a person address out that person sees somebody on uh that person sees somebody you kept saying see they, somebody uh, get there come on yeah i know <laughs> um you're right they recognize <laughs> and oh okay they go ahead and now they know where that person is. It is you, you just basically was like, oh, yeah, look, look at here. And then the person like, wait, 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 where he at? Yeah. Oh, he at the mission downtown. Oh, that's home where they owe me some money. So as soon as this happened and people, they won't. And also a lot of people, it's a lot of inner dealings in there that they don't want you to know about. Bro, some people got there are clicks. monopolies. Yeah, there are clicks. Yeah. Some people. Got I'm actually monopolies. part of the 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 the, <laughs> the prison click. The guys who just got out, the big ass like dudes who work out so much. I don't know how I got into this click. But they saved my ass. Like it, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That sounds that sound dope. But I don't, I don't know, man. When you say that shit. I mean, no. Like you got a group of snitches. That's one crew. Uh, then you got the young boy crew. You know what I'm saying? Like 20, yeah. 20 to 25, and they chilling. You know, That's they having great. fun. And then I hang out with the old school crew. The guy. You know what I'm saying? Like the more yeah, older OG. guys who just chill. You know what I'm saying? So it's really cool. Yeah, people. That's I mean, OG. the people are cool. What gets me is that it's people. Uh objectify when they hear about a shelter or something 
when they think a shelter or a mission or like a like a homeless shelter or something they think broke homeless some dude just staggering yo this guy pulled up in an acura and that like you know what i'm saying like an lx yeah, some people was, I mean, and he's home? living in the shelter okay, the shelter. he's got a good ass job nice ass car and there's yeah. like three or four dudes like that because it ain't for yeah the shelter's not really for broke people it's for people that are going through a little situation at the time some people use it as a crutch but a lot of people don't a lot of people are trying to move past that because like you said if you're going in there you got to eat at six and shower with all kind of people and yep. do all of that shit, then you don't that they, they, they now i'm thinking they're not, they're not trying to make it comfortable for you to be there so they want you to basically be uncomfortable enough to get up and do something because that's how they do in jail that's basically what uh how jail is set up they like we got we're not here to accommodate you. We're here to make you so uncomfortable that you don't want to come here no more. But, you know, some people make money off of folks going to jail and staying in jail and all that. So, bro, you got that. Okay, shh. I got a secret to tell you, okay? This is the business. So, degenerates, don't tell anybody what I'm telling you right now, but I'm sure you probably know it, okay? All right, here we're going to go. Churches aren't taxed. Mm -hmm. So because of the rescue mission and they're taking care of a certain amount of people. They get a tax write off and get some money behind it. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Cause it's a church. Yeah. And on top of that, they don't have to pay for it because yeah. it's a civil situation. Remember they got to feed these guys. You get what I'm saying? Even myself, that's what I'm noticing. They got to feed us. They got to, you know, bet us. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We got to take a shower that costs money. The government pay remember government pays for certain things you know what i'm saying like and especially in this situation yeah so right now religious uh areas or whatever like even this like everybody notices what's going on it's capitalism in a way you know what i'm saying like it's they take they know what they're doing yeah we are a number but to us but to them we're just a paycheck yeah they, they get uh, money yeah of course you basically summon uh your number in the system but uh Oh, real quick. When I said what I was at the breakfast hall, right? They're giving us food. Check this out. This is today. What, what's today's date? 26th, I think. Yeah. 26th. This is what they gave us this morning. Read the expiration date. <laughs> 23rd. <Yeah. laughs> Three day. That's what they feeding us. Yelling life. at us. I wouldn't dare. I got a couple of days, man. I got a couple more days, but I'm not going to be a bitch. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit on this. I'm going to see exactly how the situation plays out because you get 31 days, right? For free. And the only reason I'm talking about this is because maybe you guys are in a situation and you never dealt in a situation like this. So I'm just letting you know, like, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, and don't be shocked. Just deal with it. It could be, a, a, it's a slash. You could treat it like prison or you could treat it like, uh, the military. Yeah. See? Yeah, that all them in. That's just a crazy little it's a crazy thing I gotta go through there. I mean it's not like I said, they ain't trying to make it they ain't trying to make it comfortable. They're not trying to make it. They're trying to make it as uncomfortable for you as possible so you don't basically feel at home there. Cause they don't really want to take care of you like that. That's what I'm assuming. But it might be a whole different, might be a whole different oh, ball game. There's some good guys out there, some good kids, some young kids, you know what I'm saying? And it's just lost direction. But they're yeah. focused, you know what I'm saying? In a way, they're focused, but they just don't have a reach or some help or anything. Yeah, Especially people make with, money off that. Yeah, with what's going on. Yeah, they're making money off of every person that checks in because it's, it's practically a church, so it's a donation. That's yeah. what I noticed. All the food and everything that comes in, they really don't cook it. It's all donated to the church. Yeah. It's, the, it's all up donation. Plus, on top of that, like you said, a lot of anything that you slap religion on is automatically tax free because they separate church and state. Shout out to Mace. Yeah, so they, <laughs> they separate church and state. So you, you got that. Then you got a whole bunch of people that use religion as a payday. So yeah, you you got people that will just basically get things and say this is for the ministry of such and so. And then they, they create a little document of it. And next thing you know, they get money hand over fist because they don't get taxed. Bro, you know what the crew is called? Once you hit, go past 31 days and you're in the program, what? They, they call you a disciple. Yeah. You're one of the disciples. You get your own room. You get a roommate. You're not in the 48, not 48 cocks on a cot. 
Yeah. It's you and a roommate in your own room. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Um, but you got to totally devout yourself to the religion. Yeah, no. be part you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, that this is work crazy. But I here's the crazy part. All right, I got another whisper thing to tell you, okay? You, you, you do not have to get that close <laughs> to the microphone. I'm just having fun. The guy who runs it, I'm not saying no names, is a cop. But he's also devout religious. Right? Mm-hmm. So the way he runs it is almost like that system. But he also shoots a lot of Christianity at you. Like a lot of religion. You know? And I mean, I mean him no harm, but I mean, I see what they're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, they're they trying to force it down your throat, as always. He's trying to let you, hey, 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 you, you believe in this? If you don't, yeah, well, you can't do this and that and this and that and this, that, there. You know, even though in the Bible, God said, you know, just let people be who they be and let them find me how they find me. But no, no. These religious zealots be like, no, bro. Believe it how we believe it or don't believe it at all. That's why I'd be like, ah, okay. <laughs> it, it, I believe the way I believe it. I don't care what these folks are talking about. That's why I don't, I don't too much deal with that religious religious aspects of things because people don't they not they don't really have good intentions for that anyway they basically are trying to get over it and most of them most people the most people use god as a uh as their own personal sword and shield not for good reason just say like deflect any type of um basically to deflect any type of criticism if you criticize them they're gonna be like oh well you're criticizing god and people be like oh well don't want to do that then you got people that's they use it as, um, like God is their God's personal messenger. Like, yo, God said, forget everybody else, but me, I'm I'm that deal. So He told me to tell y'all this, you know. Well, two things. One, I like the negative prayer. That's like when a dude does some negative shit. Like he runs a light, and the cops behind him. Yeah, and you're like, pray. what's up? And then you're not. Then he's out. Yeah. And you meet up with him, and he tells you, he's like, yeah, man, I ran that red light. The cop was behind me. I guess Jesus was on my side. Like, see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. People, the yeah. people like to use that. And they like to use it as their own personal sword and shield. Like, you know, you shouldn't have ran the light, but you ran it anyway. But you basically say, "Oh, okay, it, it must have been God that that saved me from this thing." God looking at you like, "Bro, I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I, I'm, I'm watching you. I'm trying to see what you finna do." I had a warrant, man. He, he didn't even check. He just let me go. Nah. Jeez. God loves me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, like it's just somebody's <laughs> tired and they don't really want to check to see if you got a warrant. So they're like, all right, cool. You got a warrant? Uh, some warrants ain't, some some cops will come back to you and be like, listen, bro, I done had a long day, long night, man. You got some little petty ticket, man. Just go pay the ticket. I'm going to let you go. Just go and pay your ticket off. Like, you ain't finna get away on no, like, murder warrant and nothing like that. But sometimes you might meet that, you might meet. A really level-headed police officer and they'd be like bro listen man i don't this it's not worth the paperwork you ain't gonna be in jail no longer than like a day or two so i don't want to waste my time putting these handcuffs on you bro listen listen we don't act like we ain't never seen each other but we don't act like this ain't even a thing you go ahead and take care of that i'm gonna go ahead and go this way next time i see you and you still got it i got to do you i got to go ahead and take you down but if that's how it always works though yeah if you take care of it right now because and especially nowadays they're not trying to put people in jail for no type of petty crime oh yeah no right. nothing no child support they actually letting no them out that shit yeah they they like bro we not we we can't afford to keep you here plus people are dying in the jails due to the, to the virus and some states and counties don't want to be held liable for that because you could be held liable and like let's say murderers you can't let a murderer out. If they catch coronavirus, you have to treat them or you have to find a way to treat them. Really? If you, yeah, because you, if you don't, then they go off into the population, general population to spread it to everybody else. Now you got a, you got a prison or a jail full of sick, sick inmates and you can't house people in a contaminated area. It, that's illegal. You can't just be like, okay, yeah, this place is totally contaminated, but yeah, send those 500 people here so they can die too. Yeah, no. Now, what they'll do is they'll basically, they'll tell you, um, they'll basically ship prisoners and everybody off to little smaller facilities or surrounding area facilities. They'll incredibly scrub that entire jail, even knock some stuff out, put some new stuff in, and then they'll turn around and, and 
bring all those prisoners back. You know what I'm saying? But they they won't run the risk of bringing a, a thousands and thousands of inmates into a contaminated area and those families be like, yeah, I, I know he killed little Timmy and buried little Susie in the back, but y'all basically doing the same thing. Y'all basically are uh, killing him through chemical, basically chemical warfare, because that's what that's considered. Biological. Biological warfare is what is considered when you use any type of um, virus or chemical to harm somebody. Okay, hot take. You, you think that the uh, certain country or government system created it as a biological warfare thing and then or chemical warfare as you said and then like like in those movies you know what i'm saying how the scientists yeah. do it and then all of a sudden a mistake happens or a bottle breaks and then shit just happens and then everything tur everybody turns into zombies or some shit yeah i don't, I don't do you believe... think it was like that like a, a mistake happened and all of a sudden like they were getting ready to make it a, a like a, a weapon they were weaponizing it i don't hot think take. so it's just a hot take i don't think so i think they was uh i think what happened was they they got in they did something they were doing experiments as, as you as i said once somebody accumulated a little bit of power or might have a little bit of of power what they do is they some people like to abuse it some people keep it a secret i guess these folks the two because it was um from the from reports it said it was a chinese doctor and two american doctors from harvard um that created this whole thing also it was a you'd say Hunan or Hunan. It was one one of them places as, as um where it got made at. They said that it was supposed to be it's supposed to be working on a way to find out why bats are immune to so many diseases because they basically trying to find out how they immune to so many diseases so they can take the bats genetics and somehow mix it in with you know us humans. Because they always trying to advance, they always trying to advance the human species. But did you hear about the was, bat suit? Um, no. It's a broth. They put a, a bat. They cook a bat, and then they make a suit. And then they put the bat in the suit. A lot of people don't eat the bat. What they do is they drink the broth as the bat marinates in the broth. That don't sound right. Look it up, you guys. Google it. Bat soup. I swear to God, you'll you'll see what's going on. Yeah, that sounds. Yes, that sound nasty, but I believe you. Like, I seen um, when they had that faces of death. That faces of death was on um, YouTube, like probably like 20, 25 years ago, and they had it on there because it was they they took it off because YouTube got bought out by somebody else, and they was like, nah, bro. Because I don't know if y'all don't remember this, but back in the day, you can go to YouTube and not only watch full, full like movies and full clips of everything bro you can go to youtube and watch straight pino are you serious yeah yeah it was back in the day you could you could type something in it got so bad to where you had child pedophiles that were putting on as putting um child pornography yeah. on there and that's why they shut that's why they shut that whole aspect down because um you know older little nasty dudes was on there messing with little kids and so they, they shed all the nudity, they banned the nudity and all of that. Then, along with that came, the, that's when they scrubbed like, all the faces of death and anything they got to do with like visual, graphic murder and uh, dismemberment, all that type of stuff. Because you can look it up. You will find it on the internet, but you cannot find it. And you basically have to go to the black market. The dark web. Yep, the black market and the dark web in order to, to even find most of that stuff. I don't deal with I don't deal with the dark web. You gotta get in there. I, I don't. I but don't, you know I how to get in there. No, no. I I know. You do, way but you're not saying that. No, no, I don't. I don't know how to get in the no, dark web. Like, period. No. <laughs> no, I don't know how to get in there. Period. I don't. I don't. I don't mess with stuff like that. Because the less you know about that, the less you know about that, the less they can mess with you about it. So, only thing I know is people know how to access the dark web. It's incredibly easy to do. From what I've been told, is basically you just type in. A, some stuff, but you have to, you run the risk of being surveillance by FBI and, and the CIA though, Are you right? and um, FCC and all that. They do all them, they do tell you that. The people that do dip in the black web, t uh, they'll tell you straight up, like, yo, bro, if you, you go in here, they catch your IP address, uh, done deal, done deal. If you getting like, cause people buy, people actually still buy like sex slaves off the black web, they buy 
body parts off the black web. Yeah, man, I want a penguin. And yeah, you can get one on the dark web, I guess. And it's crazy that it's a whole, it's a the internet, and then so many people just are enthralled with evil and everything that they just made a sub. Basically, they made a sub internet called the dark web. So now you got people going around doing all kind of shit because the government can't, they can't monitor every single post someone puts out they got a lot of bots and stuff that are you know basically um realize look they got bots that can read certain codes so let's say if you got bro we've been monetized before if you're doing uh um, yeah because you got you got bots that do music you got bots that uh listen for certain words you got bots that uh look for certain uh imagery in videos you got certain bots that listen to certain uh what they call keywords you know what i'm saying like they'd be like okay this bum this little bum bum here <laughs> this bum bum <laughs> bum bum might mean bum like bum. Yeah, my, yeah bum bum might you know bum bum and bum in english mean but so they got bots they'd be like yo yo he said bum bum but he said it in such a way that the bot reads it as okay he he's saying something that he shouldn't be saying boop and that's why that's what a lot of people have been beefing with YouTube about um, recently. In the last like month, two months, seeing that it ain't a, it ain't a lot of human reviewers there, and they just let these bots and stuff control the system. Um, a lot of people videos been getting demonetized. A lot of people videos been getting kicked off. A lot of people uh, content being basically been getting thrown out of rotation because the algorithm is everywhere right now because it's nobody to, to keep it on track. Dion's favorite word is algorithm. Yeah, that, that's what it, that's what that YouTube that YouTube uh, algorithm is. It's a numerical word, but it, it's basically in the way they read numbers and how they read numbers and how they read um, subscribers and all that good, and all that good jazz. But right now it's in flux because it's not a lot of human reviewers there to help. It's a limited people. I thought I you got millions you and millions of people on YouTube. You can't sit there and look through basically physically you can't physically sit through millions billions of videos literally it is billions of videos on youtube nobody on earth can sit there and watch physically a billion videos and be able to depict every single little detail about that video so what i think is youtube is going to have to change the bots they're going to have to basically put solid keywords, solid imagery, and solid things for videos to be compensated by and uh, looked over. They can't just be like, oh, nah, bro, um, you said chocolate in your video, so we can't show it to people that don't like chocolate. No, it's got to be something a little bit more advanced than that. You know, you got to have something like, okay, if this person say kill, and if these certain words come after it, then... That person is not talking nothing good. But if they be like, yo, man, I'm finna kill this game right now. Then they'll be like, kill the game. They'll be like, okay. Common sense says you can't physically murder a game. So, okay, cool. But if you say, man, I'm finna kill this dude. Dude meaning person. Kill meaning destroy. Oh, those two, those two words shouldn't be together in the same sentence. Boop, you're done. You're saying stuff like that. But... Until basically, until we get these folks to, till you get it, everybody's not gonna be on the same track. You just gotta take your own piece of whatever you got, slide off with it, and just make it yours. You can't, you can't worry about everybody else. I think that's the problem with everybody nowadays. They want, they want everybody to follow them because it, it makes it more comfortable. If you got people that's just like you, then you don't have to worry about no objections. You like, hey, everybody's just like me, so. We all in uh, agreeance and we all in, in sequence. So I ain't got nothing. You know, say I have no no fight back. But that's not how the world is, bro. The world is filled with people that agree with you, filled with people that don't agree with you, and it's filled with people that just don't care. They like I don't I don't really care. <laughs> people you got people that care way too much and they go out of their way to do everything they possibly can to make sure you know that they care. That they want you to they want you to care oh yeah we still good well that was kind of heavy 
Uh, so you giving them the knowledge right now? Mm -hmm. I'm still uh, going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. shout out. Oh my God, we gave them government. We gave them the system. We gave them what's going on right now. We gave them what's going on in the hospitality industry. We gave them what's going on in the uh, the missions, the coalition. I actually recommend if anybody, if you're going through something, find your local coalition. Yeah. That's actually your best bet. You know, it might take some time, but I honestly, from what I've seen and what I've experienced, the coalition would be the best bet. Everything yeah. else, I mean, don't get me wrong. Everything else is very good. They, they, the one that I'm at right now treats you like a prison, which is weird, you know, but it's great guys. It's good guys. Yeah. You know, you got some scumbags, but also you got some good guys, you know, like that's not really a problem. You know? Yeah. My first day, bro, I met this freaking uh, Green Mile John Henry dude. Like, <laughs> just got out of prison that day. Yeah. That's my best friend now in there, bro. Like, we in there working. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. That is wow. Yeah, that's... But you, you meet people like that. You meet good people. People that do... You meet good people that do good things. Oh, yeah. dude, let me tell you something. All right. There was one guy. Tattoos on his face. Wow. Little, he looks way older than me, but it looks like he had a rough life. Yeah. Here's the thing. Homie had that, that hole in his throat. Uh, the, what is that called? The trachea thing? Yeah, trachea, yeah. And I asked him, like, because, you know, I can't lie. I smoke cigarettes. I, you know, whatever. I, I take full responsibility for what I do. Homie had that hole in his throat. So I asked him, I was like, yo, like, you know, I'm not saying no names. Is that because you were smoking a lot? You know, and he cleared the, the hole and he said... Nah, it's because he tried to kill himself. He drank acid. Mm. Bro. That is some crazy, crazy shit. That's what I'm saying. I meet these people. You know what I'm saying? But also, the guy with the hole in his throat, he's sharing a bunk with the guy with the flashy Acura car. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Consequences and, consequences and everything. It's the way you got to do stuff sometimes. You know what I hit him with? What? I hit him with that. God got a plan for you. That's why you're still alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hit him with that. <laughs> We're going to wrap this up because my what? computer's acting up right now. So, uh, okay. Yeah, so, y'all. With that being said. Yes, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and slide out because we out here. And dun, 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 dun. Our computer's saying it want to go back home. So, <laughs> Real quick. If you ever see me while I'm doing this, I'm only doing this for a month. It's fun until the lockdown is done and then I'm back in the, you know, I'm back doing my shit. Uh, if you want a Lucy, a single cigarette, I'll give you three for a dollar. Tide Pods, two for a dollar. All right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll catch him on that. Okay? Catch me on that when you see me, all right? Catch me inside. All right? I'll be in a cage. But, hey, if you need anything, holler at me. When you know a guy, guess what? I'm that guy. Okay. Yeah, y'all. Well, we're going to get up out of here, man. Good looking for the, tuning in to the channel. Good looking in for tuning in to the podcast Dion, today. It was great seeing you again, man. I yeah, ain't seen him a bit. Yeah, it's hot as hell. I don't know what my computer is doing. We're going to help me get up out of here because my computer is acting up and it's time bum, bum, to bum, rotate. Bum. So, dun, 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 dun. my family, y'all family, dun, 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 good looking for dun, listening dun, to dun, us. Dun, dun, dun. And we will dun, holler at y'all. Later on, dun, this dun, is your boy D Witty and your boy Theo Badass, and we going out this thing. Ciao, DJ Arrest. It's tough leaving this show because it has been a hit from day one. <laughs>